know what? I it's so difficult to start training, I'm not lying to you, it wasn't just like, oh, oh cool, let's start training. I went through hell. I mean, the first month of January, I probably threw up every single day after every workout. Um, I thought I was going to die, it was like, because you know, uh, normally people get cold turkey, where they shiver and get cold. I didn't get that, I, I got sick while I was training. So, just for, for me to work all that stuff out of my body. It was an ongoing battle for over 12 years of my life and then last year December I decided that I've got a problem and that I need to stop. I mean in the beginning it was very tough. Um, number one to be sitting alone is the worst thing you can do um, because then you, I mean there's no one that can say to you know what do you come go for a run, go eat something or whatever. Immediately you want to revert back to your old ways but then you know what just start training. I firmly believe training, training, training saved my life completely. I'm a very open person. I mean, I talk about everything. Um, first of all, I was always open and honest with my parents. And my parents knew what was happening. Um, tried to stop me and they thought, because I was arrested before, um, for possession of drugs. And then after that happened, they thought that the drugs, it wasn't happening anymore. So, the only way you could see there's a problem with me is because I'm not keeping my job, I keep getting fired and my parents can understand me, it's like, what, what's going on? And then eventually I was like, you know what, I can't hide it anymore. Um, I'm still using drugs, I've never stopped. And now I need help. And then I just worked from there. Um, my dad has been a big support, my mom supported me, um, all my friends and family supported me. Yes, you get your people that will always judge you, but I really don't care because I, I'm here now and I've survived it and I'm going to carry on surviving it. My goal is I would not like to preach to people because I don't, I don't like people to preach to me but I, I, it's nice to talk about things like this because as I said people out there that are still on drugs think that their life can never be changed but like I said once again support system you need someone to talk to you don't need people shouting down or talking down or pointing at you because you know what people that are judged who are they to judge I mean only God can judge at the end of the day and unfortunately when you get the youngsters that end up on drugs and they got these hardcore parents and then they end up committing suicide because they could never speak to their parents. But then you have someone like me to speak to and I can sit and I can listen. I don't have to say anything and then I can give some advice and hope for the best.